I've been thinking about dragons a lot lately, what with Chinese New Year and practicing dragon magic and thinking about the benefits of dragon spirit animals. I feel very connected with these magical beasts. So let's talk dragons and how we can incorporate them into our pagan path. This year, 2024, the Chinese New Year begins on February 10th and ends with the Lantern Festival on February 24th. Most Asian countries have a similar lunar calendar. Sometimes the animals differ. There are 12 animals in the Chinese zodiac calendar, and the dragon is the fifth one. It is the only animal sign that is not a quote unquote modern day living animal. The dragon is a legendary creature that has control over water, rain, hurricanes, and floods. During the Chinese New Year, the dragon is featured in an ancient dance to scare away evil spirits. They are a symbol of strength, power, and good fortune, and are also associated with intelligence, charisma, and ambition. People born in the Year of the Dragon are often said to be generous, make great leaders, and have a lot of charisma. They are strong and healthy. If you are born in one of these years, you are a dragon. Each year also has an element, and this year's is wood. When we combine wood with dragon symbolism, we have a person who is hardworking, talented, and loves challenges. Hi, I'm Amy, and welcome to my channel. This is me with my friendly neighborhood dragon. Celebrate Pagan Holidays exists to help you along your pagan path. And just a reminder, this is a safe place for people who want to make positive comments or have questions. You don't have to agree with me, but you do have to be respectful to everyone. So back to dragons. The Asi Asian religions are not the only ones to have dragons in their mythos. Dragons are prevalent all over the world and often as water symbols. In almost every culture, in many places throughout human history, there are stories of dragons that date from long ago. Dragons are part of the human experience. Dragons are big, strong, fast, and wise beings, often compared to lizards or snakes as told in various myths. They are fierce and would destroy anything and everything near them. Some can fly, some have multiple heads, some breathe fire and some ice. Amongst all their depictions, they share one thing in common, and that is that they are fierce and majestic. In Sumerian legends, Tiamat is a godmother who transforms herself into a winged horned serpent. She is the symbol of chaos, of primordial creation. The Enuma Elish states that Tiamat gave birth to dragons, serpents, scorpion men, merfolk, and other monsters. This is perhaps the oldest reference to dragons. In the ancient Egyptian re religion, Apep is the large serpent that is sometimes referred to as an evil dragon or a crocodile. He rules over darkness and disorder. He could cause earthquakes and thunderstorms. An illustration from a 15th century manuscript of Geoffrey of Monmouth's History of the Kings of Britain. The red dragon is the Welsh and the white dragon is the English. We have many myths where the dragon or serpent is killed by a human. St. George is venerated in Christian artwork and symbolizes the defeat of paganism. The statue on the right is one of the four that marks the boundaries of London. If the dragon is your spirit animal, you are a brave, intelligent, and confident person. However, there is a negative side. Dragon people may be found guilty of arrogance, excessive force, and greed. The dragon spirit can help you find balance. In fact, dragon magic is all about balance and introspection. This is one of the reasons it is considered advanced, because you are asked to really deal with these deep feelings and inner trauma. Draconic Wicca is the utilization of powers of the dragons, 
alongside the gods and goddess. This branch of Wicca has been growing steadily, but isn't that well known. Draconic Wicca is a nature-based spiritual path that incorporates the principles of Wicca and the Draconic path. Just like any other pagan practice, you are free to implement it as it meets your needs. Draconic magic is a more advanced practice and is a practice that needs self-discipline and motivation. Dragons can be strict teachers. Wiccans who follow this branch of the religion deal with the unique personalities of the types of dragons they work with. In Draconic Wiccan, the dragons are seen as deities. They may still practice the Wiccan Sabbaths and worship the god and goddess, however, may focus more on dragon deities during these times. Draconic Wiccans practice dragon magic within the aspect of Wicca. They are still on their spiritual or religious journey that involves deity worship. There is a vast variety of different types of dragons, and we can talk about them more in a future video if you would like. Everyone who practices dragon magic has a personal dragon guide, or monte. Their energies are entwined with you. They may come to you via meditation, automatic writing, or dream work. Asking your dragon to assist you gives you more power for your spells and rituals. The term Monte was coined by DJ Conway and not accepted by all. Some pagans on the dragon path refer to their personal dragon as similar to other spirit animals or spirit guides. Conway has written several books on dragon magic. Sorry, the picture is not so good. You can find the Amazon link in the description. The dragon on the right is another one from my son's workplace. Dragon magic is as dragon magic as a broad form of magic can be practiced by any pagan who wants to follow the dragon's path. You would not need to be a Wiccan. You work with dragons as allies, guardians, and teachers. Dragon magic is very focused on balance, finding wisdom, and improving oneself. However, it is magic and not a spiritual journey per se. Persons walking a draconic path seek balance, and that means examining the harsh or dark side of who you are. You can create an altar space for dragon magic. Some good things to include are ritual tools, red and black candles, crystals such as rubies and obsidian, as well as eggs, both artful and real eggs for offerings. And as an environmental educator, I don't want to leave out our modern dragons. The bearded dragon is a lizard that has become quite popular in the exotic pet trade. In the wild, they come from Australia and Southeast Asia, living in both desert and forest areas, depending on the species. Bearded dragons are symbolic of good communication, friendship, bravery, and intelligence. People who identify with them are often considered old souls. The Komodo dragon is the largest living lizard on earth and is an endangered species. Their range is limited to several islands in Indonesia. Apex predators, they ambush their prey and can bring down large deer. The Komodo dragon symbolizes power and the warrior. But it is not just about strength. Komodo dragons have ancient wisdom that they are willing to share with us. They help us to make decisions and find balance. If a Komodo dragon appears to you in a dream, you need to act quickly on an impending decision. You don't want opportunity to slip away. This has been a brief introduction. Let me know if you would like to go deeper into dragon magic topics. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a very witchy day.